Hello all, my name is Abdur Rahman and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a new series called Microsoft Azure Data Factory series. So in this series guys, we are going to learn about what is Azure Data Factory or we could also call it as ADF and then we are going to create, we are going to talk about why it is important, why it is used, all of those stuff. And in this series guys, we are going to create Azure ADF pipelines, all of those stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, let's talk about what is ADF. Now Azure Data Factory or ADF is like a digital factory for your data. Now imagine that you have a bunch of data spread across your places like files on your computer or folders information in the databases or even data from the internet. For example, you have some data on YouTube where you have some history or you have searched a lot of things on the Google and you have the history or you have the search history, all of the stuff. Now this type of data you have, okay. Now Azure Data Factory helps you bring all of this data together just like a real factory brings the materials, raw materials together, right. Now in this digital factory, you can create a plan or set of instructions on how to move, transform and process your data. Now it's like telling the machines in a factory how to assemble products. Azure Data Factory does this with the data pipelines where you can specify what data to gather and how to clean it, clean, clean it up and where to send it. Now let's, I want to give you an example. For example, let's say you are running a factory where you bring up all of the raw materials and produce into one material, right? Now for producing that into one material, you collect all of the raw materials and you build something else and from that you are going to take out the wastage and then, then you are going to create a, you are going to create a product, right? So let, that's like Azure Data Factory is also. So it helps you bringing all of the data together and then it's going to take out the wastage that you have in that data. Now, once your data factory is set up and running, then it automates these data processes making it easier to manage and ensuring your data is your data is where you need it right now in the right format so in the simple words let's say that azure data factory is like a digital manager of your data helping you decollect the data then organizing it and then preparing it for your business need, business needs for example again you are creating one product okay so you have a factory where now there is a person who brings all of the trash or the raw materials and then you then he helps that to produce into one product and now whatever the wastage is there that man is going to throw there now adf is also going to work like that man now let's talk about why we need adf or azure data factory now adf is like the data organizer or the mover for your business right it helps you collect the data from the different sources like as i said you there right now transform it it if we need it like converting the formats or cleaning it up and then del deliver to you deliver it to where you want to wa where you want it to deliver for example you have you have produced the product and you have to deliver that product somewhere else okay now a man is helping you to deliver that product somewhere else right at a at a place so that's that's how azure data factory is going to work so that's why we need azure data factory now in other words we can also say that azure data factory is azure's cloud etl service for for the scale out serverless data integration or the data and the data transformation now guys you might be thinking what actually is etl now etl full form is extraction e for extraction t, t for transformation and the l for load now as i said that if you want to produce one product then one one person is helping you for collecting the raw materials and after that he's going to throw that throw the wastage that that came out that has been produced with the product right so extraction the transformation and the load so that's what the azure data factory is going to do right now now let's go ahead and create the data factory using the azure portal so let's go on the azure portal or just you have to type something called as the 
portal.azure.com okay and then it's going to open something like this page okay now what you have to do is you have to just type click on the data factories so yeah you can also type here the data data factory sorry factories now it's going to open something like this now as you can see here i have no data factory created right now so click on the data factory it's going to create there so as you can see here i'm going to choose the pay as you go so i'm not going to explain the basics of this because i have explained all of these in the microsoft azure fundamental series so let's type it the pay as you go and i'm going to create a new one and that is going to be the demo demo factory okay okay now let's give here something called as i'm going to give uh, nine demo data demo demo data okay now i'm going to choose here the version 2 and i'm going to choose here the south india so for which i'm going to select the where it is okay here yeah. let's click on the south india now i'm going to click on the review and then create let's click on this one so right now we are not getting any errors so before creating this if you go to the git configuration then you are going to get something called as the configure with the git later on so you have to select that option because you are going to get some other boxes there so if we select that options those all of those boxes are not going to come here so let's go to the git as you can see configure the git later if i click i am getting the azure devops or the github so we'll be configuring this later on so anyhow click on the review and create and now i am going to click just on the create okay so it's going to take some time for creating click on the create now as you can see our data our data factory is being created it's, it's been creating it's running right now then we are going to get here the notification that yeah it has been created successfully deployment right now let's dismiss all of this and then let's go to the resource and then i'm going to launch at the studio now as you can as you have seen that when creating a virtual machine what we need is we have to create a virtual machine and it's not going to open something called as the launch studio something like that right that's going to happen but with the azure data factory these kind of things are going to happen one more thing that you have to, that you have to do is you have to click on the orchest orchestrate and then you can ingest we can also transform the data we can configure the ssis so anyhow guys we will be talking about all of these things later on so thanks thank you all for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe i will see all in another tutorial thanks for watching and goodbye